This is a accordion. You might wonder why an accordion is looking like a book. It's because today we will be creating a captivating accordion in the style of a book using just HTML and CSS. This is how it looks when book is closed and when the book is open. With just a few lines of code, we'll bring this concept to life, allowing users to click on the book to reveal its hidden content within the accordion. Let's dive in. I have created a HTML file and included some basic tags like head, title, body. I also styled the body by setting its width and height to 100%, removed the default margin and padding, and applied a background color to it as shown. I also included some link tags for the Google fonts and icons. Next I added a center element which is just for the video purpose only, it contains all other elements. Next add a checkbox input with ID as toggle which will be used for opening and closing the book. Next add a label for the toggle, with class name as accordion which will be our book element. Next add, write, element that acts as a right half of the book. Inside which add a text element, that displays some text for the accordion. Next add a heading element. You can see the checkbox getting checked and unchecked when clicked on the accordion. Inside the text element add some sample text to display. Outside the right element create a left element that acts as a left half of the book. Inside that add a front element, which will be our cover page. Then add a bind element that will be used to create a book binding effect. It is just for styling only. Outside the front element create a back element that will be the inside part of the book's left half. This is the entire HTML structure. Now we will style the book. Start by styling the center element by setting its width and height to 100% and aligning its children to center using display flex. Next hide the toggle checkbox by setting its display to none. Then style the accordion element by setting its width and height to fit content and position to relative. Then style the both left and right elements by setting their width and height. I have set a border which is just for visualization purpose. Now we can clearly see the left and right elements. To set the left element beside the right element set position absolute at top 0 and left minus 100% for the left element. I have set background to red which is just for the visualization purpose only. You can see the left element beside the right element. Next apply box shadow as shown. Then rotate the left element by 30 degrees along the Y axis which will be default state. But we cannot see any rotation along Y axis. To fix it, set perspective of 1500 pixels for the accordion element and set perspective origin to left as shown. Now we can observe that left element is rotated across the center instead of right. To fix it, transform the origin to right for the left element. Now, left element is perfectly attached to the right element. Finally set a border radius at top left and bottom left only. Next style both the front and back element by setting their position to absolute at top left and setting its width and height to 100% as shown. Then set its box sizing to border box so that overflow doesn't happen. Next style the back element by setting its background to image shown, background size to cover, provide border radius only at the top left and bottom left, then set a solid white border of 0.2 mm as shown, white border will enhance the book effect. Remove the right border only, which won't be needed. Next style the right element by setting its background with image as shown, set its background size to cover, box sizing to border box to avoid the overflow and provide a padding. Then add box shadow to the right element as shown. Next set a border radius only at the top right and bottom right corners and add solid white border of 0.2 mm. Next style the text element by setting its width and height to 100%, background to white, 
provide a border radius and padding, and set its box sizing also to border box, to avoid any overflow generated by the padding. Then set its font properties, text align to justify, and line height of 20 pixels. Next style the heading element by setting its font size, font weight and providing a margin at top and bottom. Now we will make this book to open and close. For that, when the toggle checkbox is not checked, target the left element inside the accordion and rotate it to 180 degrees from initial 30 degrees along the Y axis. You can see that image on back element being flipped as the left element is rotated by 180 degrees. But we need to hide the back part of the book when the book is closed. So to do this, set transform style to preserve 3D for the left element and set the back face visibility to hidden for both back and front elements. Now we can see that back element is not visible when book is closed. We can make the opening and closing of the book happen smoothly by adding a transition to the left element. Now we can clearly see the closing and opening. Next style the front element by setting its background image as shown, background size to cover, rotate it by 180 degrees along Y axis, so that it will be visible on the front side of the book. Then add a border radius to the top right and bottom right corners only. Then style the bind element by setting its position absolute to front element at top left. Provide its width and height and apply a simple box shadow which creates a book binding effect. We can see that the shadow of the front element is being overlapped when book is closed. To fix this set box shadow to none when the book is closed. And we have our simple and unique book style accordion. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.